Hi, I'm Lisa Matthew, and today we are sharing Indigenous stories. I would like you to meet my friend, Deanna. Deanna Morin is from Enoch Cree Nation. Enoch Cree Nation is situated in Treaty No. 6 territory in central Alberta, bordering the city of Edmonton's west side. Good morning, Deanna. Good morning. Let's start by talking about where you grow up, where you grew up, rather. What can you tell us about your childhood home? Well, I grew up in a reserve called Saddle Lake Cree Nation, which is also a part of Treaty 6 territory. And it's about two hours northeast of Edmonton and closer to a town called St. Paul, Alberta. And I went to school on the reserve and I went there until I was in grade seven. And then I moved to the big city of Edmonton with my family and <clears throat> um, attended school here in Edmonton. Now, there has been a lot of attention in the news recently about residential schools. And so, so it's hard to communicate exactly. There's a lot of history there and what happened, but what should we know as international students, as Canadians, what do you want us to know about residential schools? I am a, I'm a daughter of a survivor. I'm a granddaughter of survivors. Actually, all my four grandparents attended residential school. Uh, my father attended residential school and my mother because she moved off the reserve um, was able to escape the wrath of residential schools and <clears throat> um, I guess the most important piece that people need to understand and realize was um, that it was the ultimate 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 genocide of our people and the reason why we, why our communities are the way that, that era in time has pretty much dictated our lives. It's, it's, it's been a hardship for a lot of our people, um, me included, you know. I, I think about um, my dad. My dad was an alcoholic growing up. Um, my mom, on the other hand, um, I always, I always attribute this to my mom, is that she broke the cycle for us, for her children. I attribute the large part of our lives, and, and we live somewhat normal lives, my siblings and I, um, but I, I attribute that to my late mom. You know, my mom was able to break that cycle for us. Our old people often talk about, you know, the, the effects of the residential school and how long it's going to last <clears throat> in our communities. And they talk about seven generations. And the seven generations uh, effects that it's going to have is going to reach to my great-grandchildren. I'm proud in saying, you know, and I talk about my mom and that she broke that cycle for us. In fact, my mother went to the to the highest academic level that she could achieve, and that was her, her um, educational doctorate too. And mainstream society need to understand, you know, what those people have been through. Those people have been through a lot, and they don't. They don't. I know it's an old. It's an old. Uh, it's a proper word. Um, cliche. You know, you walk in, walk a mile in those person, that person's shoes, Absolutely. and and know what those people live with on a daily basis, and where those people have come from. You know, because it's not um, it's not easy by any means. And you know, in in that research, we've been here for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, and there's been many attempts at annihilation of our people and genocide and, and uh, what's the word there? Uh, Duncan Campbell Scott, we're gonna kill the Indian and the child. 
Jeez. That that's what was said about our people years ago, and that was the the beginning of residential schools. But um, <clears throat> you know, there's been many attempts, and and the one thing that I keep saying, and this is a message, you know, to my daughter, and and to pe and to students like her, to young people like her. You know, we've been here for many thousands of years. We've had several attempts of genocide, annihilation, and and we're still here. We're still standing. We're still rich in culture. We're still rich in in um, ceremony and and our language. And we'll be here for thousands of years to come. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Deanna, for taking the time to speak with us today. We really appreciate you sharing your personal story with us. Yeah, thank you.